Why are tigers orange? I mean, if you look at their surroundings, they are pretty green, right? So it doesn't make any sense for them to be orange, like how would they camouflage? Well, it turns out that the animals which the tigers prey upon cannot actually see orange. Like here is a representation of what they see and it just feels completely insane. But uh, why do they see this way? See, eyes have special photoreceptor cells, rods and cones. Rods are the ones which help us see in dim light conditions, but they can detect color. Cones on the other hand work in high light conditions and they allow us to see colors. If you could see the retina, the cones are actually located in a specific region called the fovea and the rods are mostly in all the other regions. Now these animals only have two kinds of cones and can detect only two colors, blue and green. So we say that they have dichromatic vision. As humans have an additional type of cone, which allows us to see the color red as well, giving us trichromatic vision. See, this disadvantage is actually used by the hunters as well. They wear orange jackets to hide in the surroundings and it makes them easier to locate each other because we humans can see the color orange, but the targets cannot. Okay, so if that's the disadvantage, then why don't they just evolve trichromatic vision? For that, we'll have to realize how evolution works. The deer, on the other hand, also has an advantage because dichromatic vision enables it to see its food, which is usually green plants and grass, at lower levels of light. And also since the eye is a complex organ, evolving a different vision spectrum at a rate which shows results quickly is difficult. It's much more quicker to evolve faster muscles maybe, which will help it to evade better. Like if we take the tigers for example, their ancestors might not have been orange. So basically evolution is just based on random chance. A random mutation may have given the ancestor just a bit of orangish color, which would have given it a slightly greater advantage than the others of its species. And then those genes get passed on further, giving the color we see today. The thing is, neither a tiger knows that because of its orange color, it is able to hide better, nor the deer knows that because of its dichromatic vision, it cannot see the orange tiger effectively but both evolve according to what's best for them through natural selection. Okay, so this is all right, but then why don't tigers just make green fur right off the bat? So to answer this question, we'll have to understand how does fur get its color. And the answer to that is melanin. See, melanin is a pigment found in organisms and that is what gives the color to the fur or hair. And it is usually of two types, eumelanin and pheomelanin. Eumelanin is the one which gives the colors from black to brown and pheomelanin is the one which gives the colors from yellow to red and their absence gives the color white and this is the reason why we don't see humans or other mammals with green or blue fur or hair. I mean in the end of it, if most of your prey is dichromatic, then why go through some other form of method to create green fur when the orange or brown is just as effective and efficient? Okay, so most mammals are dichromats, then why are humans trichromats? Like we are also mammals, right? Our common ancestor would also be dichromatic. So why did this trichromatism evolve in us? Well, it could have been due to a number of reasons, but the most acceptable one is that our primate ancestors had a greater advantage with trichromatic vision because it enabled them to locate ripe fruits in the green background much more easily and thus we evolved trichromatic vision. Now we come at a question about how do we know what the color the animals are seeing? And to be honest, we cannot clearly know what the animal sees. Usually we just test it out. Like you can literally ask them in the basic sense. One of the examples could be like putting their favorite foods or treats in different colored containers. Like you could have a blue, a red and a green container and then just let it free. Most of the time what happens is that the animal can actually distinguish between the blue and the green ones, but cannot distinguish between the red and the green ones. So that way we know that it is just not able to differentiate between those two colors. Like we don't know what it actually sees, but those two colors look the same to it. Now another way we could know is by dissecting the eye itself. Scientists can study an animal eye and find out if it contains cones and what colors of light the cones can detect. It is also possible to count the number of cones and their locations on the retina to understand how strong or weak a color might appear to an animal. Alright, so I'll just end it there. 
I hope you guys liked this video and gained some knowledge and maybe try to think of your own questions. Write them in the comments, who knows, we'll do a part 2 of this and go down the rabbit hole once again. So take care and thanks for watching.